Tene ta tarin hadu chutin la sensompe ta we korte kibarela Tene sensompe ta wa te cerdo ta ngaranso ge sendi gitindi no a kunzu no anda Tene rang sen la charne no aimba ta sem somjingo tena pane no a sem ta te tanda Naranzo, Saja Chimpoton, Zopa Chimpogon, Capsula, Gitang, Sam Genil, Latagi, or Ella. Sam Genil, Latagi, Capsula, Tenet, no one Sam, Sam Tomba, Togo by him, Becerna, no one sense, no one sense, Topa Tela, Tenet, no one sense, Drupig, Ripig, Totti, Chene, Tenet, no one can reach in the same yay. No one saying in Batti, Sam get net under what the number keep a two jig net on the country in Batin to Salbur, some nay, that sense of Batawa deck, that he come to Cuba Yendo, Danda, no one sent on the ten of Papa de Jitanga Calcio Imba, then the teacher now sends on Batawa de, sends on Bangupo now a race in my Pangja under what I you under what you may imba. No one sent on Nihi, Nihi Chepertin, Jilla Tiguba, Rilla, Tinetig, Tindo, Taiki, Kondo, Hupa Tardo, Tine Uma P, Yalna, Chudo Tramo, Tawa, Matopa, Tine Chuji Domi, Chasa, Tito, you are Vesena, to your Marela, Tati. Kurndig, Tunung, Tawatab, send the Denver to her, Yalji Bare, Tatia, Kurndig, Tawanda, which Yalji Bala, Jimmy Jomig, Hashung, Jimmy Jomig, Tawanda, which is a major which do, Tene, Suanella, Tene, Tate, Remji, Remji, Galni, and Ro Capsula, Uma P. Tatig, Sensompe, Depe, King Yi number Hiba, Sam Tawa, Demper to Bati, Maimba, Deon, Tombani, Imbertena Papa de Ta Umabari. So this morning we talked about the views of the mind only school, and in the view of the uh, mind only school, it says that all of the appearances that we see in this life, all of the relative appearance that we see are just perceptions in the mind. They're things we see in the mind, but they uh, are just the mind. The essence of them is not anything other than the mind. And so appearances are mind. Uh, our perceptions are our mind. Now, when we do the meditations of Mahamudra and Sokshan, and we, look, we generally look at the essence of the mind, and when we are looking at the essence of the mind, as it is said, we need to establish that the uh, appearances are mind and that the mind is empty. And so in order to realize that mind, uh, that appearances are mind, we uh, can prove through logic that every that all appearances, all perceptions are mind. And then we can see how is it that they are mind? What is it that they're like? What is the way the mind is? How, how What is the mind like? We can see, and there's the discussion of the mind being the eight consciousnesses and so forth. And so these are clear descriptions of what the uh, mind, um, uh, of what the mind uh, only school view is. And so as we described before, the mind only view uh, is really useful for coming to really s certain, definitely understand that all appearances are mind. And so uh, sometimes, you know, it's said that there's still some clinging to things as being real. There's a subtle clinging to something as being real, so it sounds like this is something that we should just discard and get, uh, get rid of, but actually that's not what it is. Be, uh, that's not how it is, because through this view, we can understand that all appearances are just appearances within the mind. We can develop real certainty in this through uh, feeling, uh, through, through going through the logic. And so developing that is really important. 
But as we described uh, earlier, then uh, uh, in, according to some people in the middle, uh, in t to the middle way teachings, uh, it says that the mind only does not realize subtle phenomenal selflessness if evaluated from the perspective of the middle way. So they don't realize the subtle lack of a self of phenomena because they still uh, say that there is the ground consciousness which is the basis for all of the confused appearances of samsara. The ground consciousness is the basis for all of uh, samsara and uh, nirvana. They say that this is true; that this truly exists, because they don't want to say that there's just blank nothingness, nothing at all, no way that anything uh, could uh, exist. And so, in uh, for that reason, they say that there is the ground consciousness and that it has uh, true existence. Uh, and then we come to the views of the middle way. And so uh, in the mind-only school, there is the assertion that there is this uh, subtle aspect of mind, the ground uh, consciousness that is true. But when we say that even that is uh, not tr uh, true and, uh, and that everything, even that is emptiness, then that is the view of the middle way. Tene Tatea Tati Sensam Pali Galna Tene Karin Rogio Ares, no Uma Palan Rogio Arela. Ta Uma Padan Sensam Panile Chepper Cario Ares, no Cerdo Gomba Chipa, Tavo Girete, Tati Nune, Sanking Hin number Hippa, the Dendro to K Melimba, Sanking Hin number Hippa, the Ranging Gitomba Imber, Charge Gipa. Tigre, Tacta y Conto, Sensum P, Chuchi Dons in Tawa, Yapa Sensum Pala, Chuchi Dons in Tawa, Yella, Chuchi Domi Tawa, Matopa, La Umapi, Tetopa, La Tinu Umapi, Chuton Jitombani, the Chalji Keeper, Chuton Jitombani, the Chalji Keeper, Rete, Yenaya, Telaya, Tatombani, the Chalji Keeper, Rimba Dabote, Yorella. Tene tatila rumba number sum you are. Rumba number sum de tene tatanda uma rongipa da jeji uma tanjuruwa da niji uma yenton bada sum da woji you are la tene tati na ne tatila candidate na Tene ta chitang toni de tena papa la oma rongi bado oma tanjiro bado oma yento basom de chipare de ina yen toni tena papang ko la te si mandawa mandawa yore la junsin te la tene tene kandi sungi yore se na oma rongi bade tanda jito hindi betawa tapen nang aran so gom jap ka la Nyongyotong,ji ตินี้ติญญอยอลาดอญญอยอกอมบกัดเจยอตันตะบอเตลเตญญอยอลาดอญญอยอกอมบกัดเจยอตันตะบอเตลเตญญอยอลาดอญญอยอกอมบกัด
So when we go beyond the mind-only view, where is it that we get to? Well, we get to the middle way view. And so what is the distinction between uh, the, uh, the middle way and the mind-only? Well, generally, their views are actually pretty much the same. They really have pretty much the same view, but there is the distinction that the middle way does not accept that there is a truly existent uh, uh, ground consciousness. They explain that this ground consciousness as well uh, is emptiness. And so this is why it is said that the mind-only school uh, has that subtle clinging to uh, phenomena, and they do not realize the um, uh, the, uh, they do not realize the subtle, uh, the, uh, the subtle of uh, selflessness of uh, phenomena. But the uh, middle way school does realize that. Uh, and uh, so they say that all of the consciousnesses, all phenomena are uh, emptiness. But in saying that everything is emptiness, there are actually some gradations in how they say this. There are, there are three different gradations uh, in how they present this. And these three uh, gradations are called uh, the autonomous school or the uh, Svatantrika in Sanskrit, the autonomous school, the consequentialist school, which is the Prasangaka in Sanskrit, and then the uh, other empty school, which is in Tibetan, the Shantong. So you have the autonomous, consequentialist, and other empty uh, schools. Uh, and of these three schools, well, uh, what, are, uh, what are they like? What are they about? Well, all of them are the same in that they uh, come to really comprehend and establish emptiness. The autonomist and the consequentialist and the uh, other empty schools are all the same in coming to understand emptiness. But the manner in which they really come to establish and comprehend emptiness is different. And so what is said is that with the autonomous school, the autonomous school uh, is what is called a view of making differentiations in post-meditation. So it is a view of making differentiations in uh, post-meditation. So generally when we have meditation, there is the actual equipoise, the actual meditation session, and there is the, uh, the post-meditation session. Uh, so uh, with the consequentialist school, the consequentialist school is the school that uh, goes directly towards the equipoise. So they emphasize the equipoise. They, uh, and in ex uh, they do not say that things exist relatively and they don't exist uh, uh, ultimately. They do not say that. Rather, they just go straight for the emptiness of all phenomena. They say that all em phenomena are emptiness. And so this is really the experience of meditation. They're going straight for the experience of meditation. So the consequentialist school is the school that goes straight for uh, the experience of, um, of meditation. Uh, uh, and so in this way, they, um, they join uh, everything, uh, join what they see, the appearances uh, that, they, uh, that they see, and, and the way they present it is really mixed with the experience of meditation. Excuse me, let me say that again. The way the consequentialist school presents uh, the emptiness is really mixed with the way they perceive it in their meditative equipoise. And so this is why it is the school uh, that goes directly for the experience of equipoise. Now, the autonomous school is uh, a school uh, that makes the differentiations in post-meditation. And so when you get up out of the equipoise of meditation, then there is the experience of post-meditation that happens. And in this experience, uh, then they combine it with the experience, there's the feeling or the experience that comes from equipoise with uh, their, uh, their post-meditation. And so when in the post-meditation there are things that appear and they see that these things uh, are emptiness. Like in, uh, in equipoise, you realize that they're emptiness. You see the emptiness of all phenomena. You see that, they, that everything is confusion. But when you get up, everything appears. And while they appear, they're 
uh, uh, so, they, so they do appear relatively when you uh, get up. And so the, uh, so the autonomous school says that ultimately things are not established, but relatively they can be established. They have that sort of feeling, that sort of experience. And so that is uh, the, the, the presentation of the autonomous school. Tene tatelaya tanda tene umarungi bata tanjerova niki ge to toni tomba ni tena pavi orela tomba ni te tomba ni sundu tela tene kapkala chorwa tela chia me panda boje la kondo orela chia me pe chorwa ndo boje yungi orela tene tatela tene ティーゲ、ソロワティマインバ。ティーゲソロワティティニチュニグネルドンツングヨアレベセナツングヨアマレ。チュニグネルテトンバトンチョンマインバ。サロワイヒジチャイエバ。トンバテテネペンブトンバ
quality of loving and knowing. And so that is the union of the expanse and uh, wisdom. Uh, and so, um, so uh, in relative uh, terms, everything uh, in terms of its essence is empty. So are things, uh, so excuse me, in relative things, uh, things do uh, appear, but are they emptiness? Yes, they are emptiness, but ultimately, uh, so, uh, so ultimately, so excuse me, let me see if I can express this right. So relatively, the... Um, Relatively, th all phenomena are empty of their own essence. But is the ultimate nature? Uh, but the ultimate nature is empty of other things. It's empty of the other essence. So when we say that the uh, uh, ultimate an essence is empty of the other, what does that mean? Does that mean that it's nothing at all? Well, the the essence, or that it that it is something. Well, the essence of the emptiness is, of course, empty. The essence of wisdom is emptiness. The essence of the Dharma expanse is empty. Emptiness, but that uh, the es but the nature of that essence has the aspect of clarity. It has the uh, the aspect of wisdom. It has all of the uh, qualities. So emptiness does not mean just blank nothingness, nothing uh, at all. So it is empty. Uh, so that is the view of the other empty. That is what the other empty school comes to establish and comprehend. And so in this way, we have these uh, three different schools. We have the ad autonomous school. Of for the first one, the second is the consequentialist, and the third is the other uh, empty school. And if we uh, can come to understand them and establish a real firm understanding uh, of them, then this is something that will be uh, extremely beneficial for our experience. <laughs> ตนิสันจิจิตาจิตังกะสะกึพุบุรุวะลาฮิราจิพารุตุซินบันดุซุนวะเดลาฮิราจิพารุตุซินบันดุเตเปจาจิมบอดะวะซุนวะเดตินิ
tene jesu no kase tu ngusu sumba mare te tene kongri ga yalo ta kongri ga loma chu chungki ta tenzo la cherang chu nda songju sembe on to sena jambe yong to kire ze la sopa la cherang chu ndi kor te cherang che so ne ka na ti ba chu mu ga ko ni na ni ke ga o ta tene te yen do ta da ni ni tu chen bo ve song to ram jo la sopa cherang ke ndi kor te che so ne ka na ga ba ta te kong ju ge che ba re te yin na ya te ji su no ka se san ji ji ka la ze ge yo Tini sinji la buka se du sanji je tu te ting en zen jeng on de nyam bari ga tini ti ting en zen jeng on de nyam bari ga buka so tini ta te lo ma te la tini chu ye pe ti chu de ye pe ga po pa da wo ji ji ni se la ga to ji tini ti chu de ye to pa da wo ji chung a te la sinji la buka su ge yo re la tini ta da hira ni bo da wo ji na sinji la buka re Jom deh deh, sama nongah sih saya wicu je nong dong je tinggal zaman yang berjuta si, dah tika lama dua ini nong sama juga ada lah. Tapi sama nongah sih tu cuni tong bani je nong do yang berjuta ni yo. Dah tika senji lah untuk dia lah, tika absal lah tapi hari pola senji lah, tika sam papa cingri je lah senji lah deh, tapi hari pola ke dua tang. Tini cingri zeki ti cengli de jat ne cari buka siapa tini papa cingri zela rejepo 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 kau lala siapa je baru tu cuma samu cepa cepa rende pati cinta lala berjas samu cepa de tak siapa ke nelu yang tak apa cuni ke nelu ya boleh Tena pap ni, gambi nyam selain berhenti pergi. Tena rezeki potong rezeki pemu tentu ke. Kandi sini nyam selain guru si terakhir. Tadi yang sanji ke cilap ke top di cuma dia. Tadi lah papa cingri sini lenta untuk dia. Hari pos rezeki pom rezeki pemu kau lala. Hera je baru tu cuma sami cepat cepat berhenti pati. Datar nombor tawar sahdi. Tadi dene sini kau guru. Dene sini semua tangguh guru. Dene sini si guru sana. Tadi yang Tak, tinggal tinggal gua ni. Tapi dia tahu siapa yang baru tu cuma kat dia cuma gua ni. So the what is the source of the Middle Way Sutras? What is their uh, uh, of the of the Middle Way teachings? What is the source of their teachings on emptiness? Well, whether we're talking about the other empty view or we're talking about the uh, self-empty view, that is the autonomous and consequentialist views, whatever view we're talking about, what sort what sutras do they come out of? Well, they come out of these sutras on transcendent full knowing that the Buddha taught at the uh, place of uh, the Vulture Peak mountain in Rajagriha. And so uh, these were vast sutras, really extensive sutras. There are three of them. They're called the three great mothers. There's the, the long great mother, the middle length, and the short uh, great mother. They're called the great mother because they're like the mother uh, that gives birth to all the Buddhas. It's because of them that the Buddha attained, uh, attains enlightenment. So they're like the mother that g gives birth. And so it's like the, the great mother. And so it's called the um, uh, Prajaparamita. It's got a feminine ending on it in Sanskrit and in uh, and in uh, Tibetan. So it's like the source of everything. It's like the great mother for uh, of uh, from which all of the, of the Buddhas come. And so, in terms of the sutras of the great mother, there are three sutras: the long, the medium length, and the short. The long one is called the hundred thousand uh, stanzas because it is a hundred and a hundred thousand uh, stanzas or sentences uh, long. And in terms of the number of volumes of books, it is twelve volumes. Uh, the uh, medium length uh, one is called the 25,000 verse because it is in 25,000 verses and it takes three volumes. And then the short one is the 8,000. The 8,000 verse uh, 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 sutras on transcendent full knowing. Uh, and so it has 8,000 uh, verses and it takes one uh, volume. And then there's the really short one, the really condensed one that's like the essence of all of it. That's the sutra of the heart of transcendent full knowing or the heart sutra. That's the very short um, 
one. And so when the Buddha taught these, these are included in the second turning of the wheel of Dharma. Uh, the tur he turned the wheel of Dharma, that is, he taught the Dharma again on Vulture Peak Mountain. Uh, and uh, now when you go to Vulture Peak Mountain these days, it's pretty empty, there's nothing there, but at that is actually the place where a long time ago the uh, Buddha did uh, teach these, uh, turn the wheel of Dharma uh, for the second time and taught these sutras on transcendent full uh, knowing. And so uh, what is the meaning of these sutras? What is the intent that they are trying to teach? Well, they're teaching primarily, they pr primarily teach the emptiness of all things. And so it says uh, there are phrases such as there is no form, no sound, no smell, no taste, no touch, no dharmas, uh, and so forth. Te uh, so it's a way of coming to really establish and understand that everything uh, is emptiness. And so these are the teachings of these sutras on transcendent uh, full knowing, or prajnaparamita. And so in the Heart Sutra, it's presented in a really condensed way. Now, when the, we talk about the words of the Buddha, there are actually a couple, a, a few different types of the words of the Buddha. There are three different types. There are the actual words of the Buddha. There are the words that he instructed be told. And then there are the words that come from uh, his blessings. So the words, the actual words of the Buddha are the things that he actually said with his own mouth. And so um, those are pretty easy. Then there are the words that he instructed, his, the instructed words. Uh, so these are not things that the Buddha actually said himself, but he told his students, he said, you should teach it like that. So in the, uh, in the Mahayana Sutras, there are spots where uh, the Buddha would tell Manjushri or Avalokiteshvara to teach something and to explain something. In the... Um, in the uh, uh, in the in the sutras of the foundation vehicle, he would tell uh, Ananda or Kashyapa or um, uh, what's his name, um, Rabjor. It's Rabjor in Tibetan. I can't remember the Sanskrit. I'm sorry. Uh, he would uh, he would ex uh, instruct them to say something. They would explain something and uh, and tell uh, uh, and tell something. And so that would be an inst an instance of the instructed words of the Buddha. The words that the Buddha instructed someone one to say. Then there are also the, uh, the blessed words of the Buddha. And so this is where the Buddha would sit in deep samadhi meditation. And within that equipoise, then one of his students would uh, gain real confidence. And through that confidence, through the blessings of the Buddha, they would be able to uh, uh, t uh, teach something. And so these are the, the blessed words of the Buddha. So like, for instance, the Heart Sutra is the words of the blessing. Because as it says uh, at the beginning of the Sutton, the, uh, the Bhagavan Buddha was uh, resting in the profound meditation of uh, the profound samadhi of um, uh, uh, on the samadhi of on samadhi of profound illumination. So, saying the samadhi of profound illumination, this is the samadhi, the meditation on the emptiness of the uh, Dharma nature. And then, while he was doing that, then Shariputra and uh, Avalokiteshvara had a conversation, a, qu a question and answers uh, that are blessed words. And so uh, Shariputra then asked a question of Avalokiteshvara. He said, son of noble family, how should any son or daughter of noble family who wishes to practice the practice of the transcendent full knowing, uh, 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 how should, who wishes to do the practice of practice who wishes to practice the practice of transcendent full knowing train, and uh, so he didn't. So he asked this question out of the blessings of the Buddha, and so this is why this is the blessed, the blessed words of the Buddha. How is it that someone who wants to practice the profound practice of uh, of meditation on the Dharma nature, how could they actually do the practice? What do they need to do the practice? And then as a response, uh, and so this question came out of the blessings of the Buddha. And then in response, Avalokiteshvara says, Shariputra, any son or daughter of noble family who wishes to do the practice of the profound uh, pr uh, transcendent full knowing should, uh, should uh, train like this. And so saying train like this, it means that this is what they should contemplate. This is how they should uh, act. This is what should they should do. This is how they should med uh, meditate. And so this shows how uh, this teaching of the uh, uh, transcendent full knowing uh, appeared. Then, that hella, the tongue, tomba, nisidu, then be carchembury, 
ヘディナヨトンバニデリヤポマゴナアテンコトンバニセタドナボチェラボジュニンカヨアレナデヤンランマメジェラケチェキニョナナタナバサンジパマインパチェケアテネトノムジュノネトテンデセデチェナバサ
ngaransa Tene Then Tene juma Kunzupsemitrupaji Juma Ridubu Loban Tiger, Tanda Juma Tabu, and Zambati, Sani Pon Yang Mare, Siva in Betina, Rongi, Oma Hijapa Yen La And so here it's uh, in the text it reads, in the middle way there are two schools. So here the middle way means the autonomists and the consequentialists. So the autonomists and the consequentialists are the uh, Prasangika and the Svatantrika. Uh, so there are two schools in, of the middle way, the autonomist and the consequentialist. And among the autonomists there are higher and lower um, branches. And so. Uh, here, whether uh, some uh, whether the middle way view is the autonomous view or the consequentialist view, it all is based upon the view of emptiness as taught in the Great Mother, the sutras on transcendent full knowing. But the way that you come to comprehend that and establish that is different. So, as we mentioned before, one goes through the uh, of making distinctions in the post meditation, and the other, uh, the autonomous goes through making distinctions in post meditation, and the consequentialist school uh, goes straight for uh, the equipoise. And so, in this way, they are. That is why there are the two separate schools. Now, for the autonomous school, there are also lower and higher branches, and so there are different. There are lower autonomists and there are higher autonomists. And uh, so, of the lower autonomists, it says here the lower autonomous masters, Sri Gupta and others, assert that all phenomena are ultimately emptiness and conventionally merely appearance. Thus, they assert that in relation to a single basis, appearance and emptiness cannot be parted, but their essences are separate. And so, this um, Indian master, Sri Gupta, uh, says that uh, all phenomena, that, that, there is, that uh, there are appearances, that phenomena appears and there are emptiness. So relatively there are appearances and then ultimately there is the emptiness. And the appearance and the emptiness are both present together uh, on the basis of a single thing. So they're there together. They're not the same, they're separate, but they cannot uh, be separated. So uh, these people are saying, uh, Sri Gupta and uh, others are saying that the, that the appearances and the emptiness are separate, but they, but they cannot be divided uh, from each other. Uh, and then there are the Masters of the Logic of Illusion, Master Ocean Crowd Cloud, which is a translation of the name. It's probably in Sanskrit, Sagara Mega, 
I'm not positive about that. So Master Ocean Cloud and others established that all phenomena included in the true truths are merely illusion. So Master Ocean Cloud and other masters say it's not like that. Everything, all of the phenomena are just illusion. They're all confusion and illusion. And they assert that holding the essence of the illusions to be such should not be destroyed. So they say, that, well, then you have to perceive, you have to hold that these illusions really are illusions. And so in holding the, uh, and so they say that you can't get rid of that. You should not destroy that perception of the illusion to be uh, the illusion. So that is the uh, second of the lower autonomous schools. Then it continues, in actuality, both of these are incompatibly w inca incompatible with the reality of things of things, as they uh, either consider the two truths separate. So um, Master Sri Gupta and others say that the uh, that appearance and emptiness are separate, that the, the relative and the ultimate are emptiness, but they coexist. Um, uh, or they have not let go of the fixation on illusions. So Master Ocean Cloud and others have not uh, given up the uh, fixation on others. And the reason is that as a basis, all of them uh, say uh, that um, the that relative appearances have to be validly established. Relative appearances are validly established, and so they have not let go of this uh, fixation. So uh, in reality, they are incompatible. They're in in actuality, both of these are incompatible with the reality of things as they consider the two truths separate or have not let go of fixations. Thus, they are called lower autonomists. They have not given up the idea that the two truths are separate or they have not given up the fixation on illusions. And so for that reason, they are consider considered the lower autonomists. <laughs> ตัดเดลาโรงจิโกนี่เป็นหนุ่มมาเดลาทีนี้โจงอารันโจงทันดาอ่าทางเขปาตัวทุกทุกเดินจูกินยามลิงการ์เรนนั่งกี่วันเล
Pala Jaji. Chene, then it's Pala Jaji, the Bangalala Chen. Then a Bangalala, Pe, Pala Jaji, Jumala, then a Chua, Yapotar, then is it Berta Malahili, Tula Kun, Himbarilla. Berta Malahili, Tula Kun, the Tanda, Biharga Consuore, Tati Capsula, Bangali Consuore, Bangali Jabonam Jain, Tati in the Sepa in Bicena, Tati Mangadai, Hersu Dabuji in Bicena, Kembo, Rongi, Ben Kepa Chembo, some day, then you Mangadai, Hersu Sempa in Bicena, Rongi, Hersum Kembo, Ledinji, Hiwanso. Then Kamala Hila, some de Pere, Rungi, Pinkeba, Chimbo, some Sumadella. Tinani, Ledinji, Tige, Tanda Umatawa, Hirap, Gunderba, Hirap, Dremis, and Kitchen, Zebadilla. Tinanto, Takong, Gombatilla, Candy, you are a Sena, Tani Kunzu, Jedembati, Dodia Patar, Serenja, Nom Yon, Z, Jains, Tene, Kunzu, Kunzu, Gedembati, Dodia Patar, Dutin, Yepa, Tabu. Dutri Yaba Zomni Noa Tan Tambala Te Madru Badite Kunzupto Te Zomki Re Tan Tambati Uma Patardo Tenapa Uma Patardo Tenapa Dutela Uma Patardo Tenapa Pari Then there also is the um, there are also two uh, there also are two higher autonomous schools and so uh, the uh, as we say when we talk about the higher and the lower um, autonomous schools the lower autonomous schools are not really accepted by they're not really prof uh, professed by any particular scholars of the present day but so when we talk about when we study when we practice the autonomous view these days we are practicing the view of the higher autonomous schools. Schools. And so among the views of the higher autonomous schools, again, there are two different types of schools. And what are these schools? Well, the two are the Sutra Autonomous School and the Yogacharya Autonomous School. So the Sutra Autonomous School and the Yogacharya Autonomous School. Now, who is it who primarily taught the Sutra Autonomous School? Well, it was the Master Bhava Viveka. So that's spelled down here. I'm not going to stop for you. You've got the Master Bhava Viveka is the one who uh, taught this school. And he uh, primarily, when we talk about the autonomous school, there are three main teachers who taught these. And uh, these are called often the three Eastern Kempos. Now, the way that it happened is that First, there was uh, Nagarjuna who appeared, and when Nagarjuna appeared, he wrote uh, his treatise, the fundamental, uh, the fundamental full knowing of the middle way. And this was a really powerful treatise with very strong logic, very uh, important logic, and uh, it was very uh, uh, and uh, so it was taught very clearly. Uh, and so there's a real difference in the th in the thinking that happened before Nagarjuna and after. Nagarjuna for uh, whether we're talking about Buddhist scholars and the views of Buddhist scholars and, and masters or we're talking about the even the talking about the views of non-Buddhist scholars uh, or masters when uh, when uh, once N Nagarjuna appeared, later scholars had to modify their views, whether or not they were uh, Buddhists or not. Many scholars these days say that there's a real difference between the views of uh, scholars before Nagarjuna and after uh, Nagarjuna. And so, uh, so um, basically, you know, it's it's pretty understandable when the when when Nagarjuna came, all the Buddhist scholars altered their views and followed after Nagarjuna. But you know, there's no need to say that. But for the non-Buddhist scholars also to, to change their views, that's, that's really something. Because beforehand, these scholars and these masters would present their own positions, their own understanding of things. And then Nagarjuna came along and they said, oh, we can't say that anymore. He's pretty well proven that. He's pretty well proven the way things are. We've got to change our presentation a little bit. Let's see what we can do to tweak our presentation to make it fit with um, uh, fit, fit with Nagarjuna's. And so uh, there's no need to say that the Buddhist views change, but also even the non-Buddhist views before Nagarjuna and after Nagarjuna, are uh, the way they uh, presented them in their treatises are, are dissimilar. 
Um, and so uh, in this way, we have the, uh, uh, and, and so this is because Nagarjan had really such sharp and clear logics that really powerful logic that present the way the Dharma nature actually is so clearly. And really, you're really able to comprehend it and come to uh, and understand it. And so now when we come to the commentaries and the explanations of Nagarjuna's view, then we get the autonomist views and the consequentialist views. And so the autonomist views were primarily taught by what we call the three Eastern Kempos. When we say the three Eastern Kempos, the way, reason we say that is that at that time, the center of everything was Bodh Gaya, which is in the center of the land of Magadha, which is now in, in the state of Bihar. So Bodh Gaya is the central land. And then there was a, um, um, a king in the east named uh, Kazo Jabo de Gitsen. Pala. Pala. Palate. Paladin. Paladin. So there is a king named Pala or, or Palagin or, or Palankara, um, and he uh, was the king of the area of Bengal, uh, and he uh, s supported the Dharma, and under his reign the Dharma spread in the eastern areas, uh, uh, and there was the great monastic university of uh, Vikramashila that was founded in Bengal. Now, these days uh, Vikramashila is in Bihar, but at that time it was considered Bengal. Uh, uh, and so uh, it was to the east of, Bang of Magadha, and so therefore the scholars who taught there were called the three Eastern Kempos. And these three Eastern Kempos, or three Eastern Masters, were um, Baba Viveka, and then uh, Shantarakshita, and Kamalashila. So Baba Viveka, Shantarakshita, and Kamalashila. So these are the three Eastern Kempos. Um, and so the first of these is Bhava Viveka. And so in his commentary uh, on the, uh, on the uh, fundamental wisdom of the root way by Nagarjuna, Bhava Viveka said, presented that the relative appearances, conventional appearances, he presented them according to the view of the sutra school. So he presented that there are external things, that they are made up of, uh, of atoms, indivisible atoms. And so these appear relatively. Ultimately, they cannot be established. They are, uh, they are emptiness. But relatively, he explained things according to the view of the sutral schools. So according to the sutral schools, relatively things do exist. They are made up of atoms. But he taught the ultimate view according to the middle way. Nomdrondon,nomdrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondrondr
ตัวเดจิบอมาบาเลดินจิตอมพาชิจิบาตัดตัวเต็มดําเต็มนะพาบกาสุลตุมบุนําดงเป็นเต็มดําเตตุนี่ตัวเต็มนะพาเนี่
Inaya, Oma Jin Tela, Oma Tanda, Oma Jupa La, Tombo, Kunzup to you, Kunzup Tena Papa, Tandam Tena Papa, take Matu, Ripen on Romambo, Jitin, you are married La, Tene Oma Jin Ganala, Tangbo, Tela Kunzup to Tandam the Mepper Temper, Tunzup to Yepper Tempers, Tombo, Nam Drumper Tanta, Tombo, Yemi Gedeci, Tony de Tena Pap, Tita in Yemi Gental in Debe. Tene non roma impetenta on tena papa impetenta pe cua deuata tene ripa salva tene cua la pemba e apuchiro iuare la te son separe te son apo de loben hiuanzo de la hiuanzo te naranzo son o doji tipicu la pe carlin chiembo tene son o doji tipicu te jagarni pe totar ve capsula tene Chibu chimbo som ga tene chung are la. Chibu chimbo som de zo ken chen hiwan zo chiu pelo a po che. Ta te la parchi na cheng in salve ga zuntru che ngad a te ngad tene ngurpe man ju ne che. Ta te chiu te tangbo pelo e ga char ki yon ken ga zo o te jimbe da pon ra o te tanda jalbo trisong di zin te ken lop chiu som shogi o are la. Tina ni tang ken chen hiwan zo te yin be chen na. Tapi kita angkat orang susunggu dua jenis bicara ni, jaga ni, berdo tar ni, rimbi rimbi ni, perlu tu ke, tenen tu, tak kongg tenen la tu ni semua yang bicara na, be kardin cembo, tenen jah cembo, tak tenen cuma re la, tenen kong gomba nyang ni dendro kapsul la ya, tak perlu sanji ke tempat perlu ati be ya pun cuma re, ya pun cuma re tu ini na mahu pala je sih na parci na bo yung re. Parti itu nampak sanji pak main pe ceng ceng parti yang kemarin itu nampak sanji pe tawa tu mantin baca nampak sanji pe tawa yang bala tawa mantin pak dah tadi ceng ceng yang rambut yang kere sana lunting nama dia lah. Tni tiga orang tiga absen lah. Tni hanya mahaya nasi ceng ceng kepa tu nyamni desi apa ceng pernah. Tini tata ram la ram nan jutun la rimji pada cicar wasin ni yuar la. Tini tata nan kempun bodi satu itu yang apa apa tini rimji pada. Tini kalah kapur eh. Tang ngarang ketawa tini cicar wasin ni langsung tini nanto kerja naya. Perna trimba karbo yang naya ni mana trim dogeri. Trimba napo yang naya ni mana trim dogeri. Pete yang tu nanto kah yang naya gave nanto yang naya. Jangan segera, mungkin nanti orang ini jangan segera, nanti mungkin orang ini yang berikan kerisan. Kong ke ti lusur dia pernah. Tini cepat cang, cepat di salwa lah, kari gugi orang ini sena. Tini kinci hewan suri hal cem lah. Tini kong ke lama, tini kamera hilal jaga lagi orang ini. Tini dendeng hiu na, tini ti cepat di hitu kerisan. Tini kamera hilal dendeng hiu. Semua yuar la, ti hari sen tar tu, kamera hilal dendin hiu, kamera hilal dendin hiu ni, kamera hilal ta, hayu mahaya na ni coba je, tu ni hayu mahaya na coba pam, kong ke tong tu long ni, tu ni kong pe, tu ni ta tanda kamera hilal, tanda kecik hewan suci pe ke, tong pe cuci nyam selim pe ke, lusur dia la, parci tan cingi meba si, ti kasur la kamera hilal gamrim som si. Kamala Hill, Gomrim Tangbo, Gomrim Nipa, Gomrim Gomrim Parma, Gomrim Sumba, Gomrim Tama, si Yorela, the things are partially in Jigila, Jorza Yorela, the design of Pe, Yomila, Titang, do it our. So not Shaja Chimbo, Zoba Chimbo, Gutawa, Mare, do it our, the Yena, do it our, then a part on the do it our, Yons, Lenton, Gola Pe, Salvo, Hira Yabu Yorela. Ini tadi rongji kerjasam kembung, tadi ni sini, tombo ledingji, ni pa hewan so, semua kamera hilir kita ni sini tempat berwarna. And so, in general, in the um, I'm going down here. Go to this. Thank you, Mr. Mm hmm. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 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 Th
So generally, when we talk about the treatises of the Middle Way, we have the, uh, we often mention the introduction to the Middle Way or entering the Middle Way. It's often translated as by, um, by Chandra Kirti. But uh, there also is the ornament of the Middle Way by uh, Shantarakshita, and uh, this is uh, a really. Uh, when we th talk about the entering the middle way, this doesn't really present any, it doesn't teach any gradations of it. It doesn't say that things relatively exist and they don't, uh, but ultimately don't exist. It doesn't have any sort of progression to go through. It just goes straight for the teaching of emptiness as it is. But in the ornament of the middle way, it teaches that, first it teaches that rel relative thi relatively things exist and how they exist relatively, uh, and then it teaches how they are emptiness. And so in this way, it is teaching the emptiness that distinguishes between uh, uh, the, the uh, existence and non-existence. And then, after you understand that approximated emptiness, it comes to teach the unapproximated emptiness. And so it's got this easy progression. It's got really clear logic. It's very easy to understand. And so it's something that's really helpful for developing our compre comprehension of it. Now, the person who taught this was Shantarakchita. And Shantarakchita actually was a teacher who was really helpful for the spread of the secret mantra Vajrayana. He was really uh, kind to us in terms of pre uh, preserving and spreading the Vajrayana teachings. When the Vajrayana teachings spread from India to Tibet, there were three great beings who were pri primarily responsible uh, for its spread. And the uh, first of these is the one who was sp responsible for the spread of the Dharma, and that was Shantarakshita. Then the one who was responsible for dispelling all the obstacles and difficulties was uh, Padmasambhava. And then the king who organized this, who's, uh, who first had the idea and the motivation to do this and who sponsored it, was the king Chison Detson. And so these three are the uh, great king, the Kempo, and the, um, and, and the master. And so uh, of these, uh, it was really uh, Shantarakshita who was really very um, kind in really spreading the teachings of Vajrayana Buddhism. Now, w uh, so he taught, uh, and so really a lot of the activity of the spread of Vajrayana into Tibet is, is a result of, of his own activity. Uh, and so uh, he was really wonderful, very kind uh, for, and very important for the Vajrayana. And it's really his activity was quite uh, vast. Now, when Shantarakshita was, passing, uh, was about to pass away, uh, he uh, said that the Dharma was really spreading very well in Tibet. But in the future, there would be a problem uh, that would become a difficulty that would come. And this difficulty would not be a difficulty that would be presented by a, a non-Buddhist. This would be a difficulty presented by a Buddhist who was teaching something that actually did not fit uh, with uh, Buddhism. And so he predicted that uh, this would happen. And as he uh, predicted, uh, there was a teacher called the, the Mahayana, the Hashing Mahayana, Mahayana, who came. He was someone who was a scholar, he was learned, he had some meditation practice, and uh, he, and when he came to Tibet, he said, well, you know, there are two different paths that you can follow. There's the gradual path, and there's the instantaneous path. Now, uh, Shantadakshita was teaching you all the gradual path, but I'm going to teach you the instantaneous path. And this instantaneous path uh, is that whatever thought it is that happens, it, it doesn't matter. It's like you have the sun and clouds. If you have a white cloud, it keeps the sun from shining. If you have a black cloud, it keeps the sun from shining. And so they're both the same. And in the same way, whether if you have a virtuous thought, it is a fault. If you have a non-virtuous thought, it is a fault. And so it's better just to in meditation without any thoughts at all. So that is what the Hashang Mahayana uh, uh, said. And so this tradition spread, and then there became a lot of debates and conflict uh, between the two. And in order to uh, take care of these debates, then uh, actually Shantarakshita had foreseen that this, this would happen, and he left a testament, and he said that should this problem, uh, when this a problem occurs, then you should call my student Kamala Shila from India. Call him up here and have him uh, deal with the situation. And so as a, according to the testament that, sh that Shantarakshita left, they, uh, they invited 
invited um, uh, Kamala Shila to come up. Kamala Shila came. He met uh, the Hasha Mahayana, and he had the debate. And in the uh, debate, the Hasha Mahayana uh, lost the debate. He realized that he lost the debate. And so then Kamala Shila continued teaching, and he taught uh, in the tradition of Shantarakshita. Uh, and there were no longer any obstacles that prevented that tradition from uh, spreading. And Kamala Shila also uh, wrote a text which is called something along the lines of the three stages of the uh, path of meditation. So the, the stages of the path of meditation. So it teaches the first beginning stages, the intermediate stages, and the final advanced stages of this. And this, I think, has already been uh, translated into uh, English. If you could read this book, this translation of Kamala Shila's teachings on the, on the uh, stages of meditation, uh, then this is something it's really good. It's really helpful for your meditation. It presents the meditation according to the view of the sutra school. So it doesn't teach the view of the Vajrayana or the view of Mahayana or the Mahamudra or of Dzogchen. It teaches the view of the sutra school, but it's really very clear and it's very, uh, very good in understanding. And so in this way, we have the teachings of the three Eastern Kempo Kempos. And so the three Eastern Kempos are first, Master Bhava Viveka, the second was the Master Shantarakshita, and the third is the uh, Kamala Shila. <laughs> Nandrung <laughs> Tetting And so as, it, as the text continues, at the, at the first, both of them place emphasis on the approximated ultimate and then distinguish the two truths. They assert that ultimately all phenomena are nothing but conventionally they exist. Thus they are known as the causal middle way of post-meditation or the path middle way of differentiation. So... Um, at first, both of these, both the Sutra uh, Autonomous School and the uh, Yogacarya Autonomous School, both of these place emphasis on the approximated emptiness and then distinguish the two truths. And so here uh, they... Um, uh, they say uh, they they uh, uh, place emphasis on the approximated emptiness. They say that ultimately things do not exist, but conventionally uh, they do. And so, uh, thus, uh, in the post meditation, uh, they're the causal middle way of post meditation. And so, uh, then they assert that ultimately all phenomena are nothing, but conventionally they exist. That is when they come to understand the approximated emptiness. When they present emptiness, um, when they present the ultimate truth, then they are presenting both the approximated emptiness and the unapproximated approximated emptiness. They distinguish the, between these two. And when coming to understand the approximated emptiness, they say that all phenomena are emptiness, but conventionally they do appear, they do exist. And so they distinguish between the true truth. Uh, and so that is why in, they are known as the causal middle way of post-meditation or the past middle w path middle way of differentiation, and that they differentiate the two uh, truths. And so that is the presentation of the autonomous school. And so next is the so maybe that's enough for this afternoon's <laughs> session. <laughs> and let's have the dedication and aspiration prayers.
Jesús.